What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter from Panda here. If you want to get pumped up, you need one of these. This is a small handheld pump. You can use it for a lot of things. I think like small tires. But what I really need are my sports collectibles pumped up every now and then. Those bladders tend to lose air. And this uh, pump was actually one of the cheapest ones I could find. And I think they just call it like a ball pump, ball hand pump. And it does come with, man, look at that four, five needles. Dude, that's kind of crazy that they include that many. I guess they know that you might lose some. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any difference between them. And then here is the pump itself. And what you can see here is it's a very nice looking pump. And what I really liked is that the nozzle didn't have one of the floppy hose ends here, that it was all just kind of compact and hard so that I can just put it on the shelf and grab it when I need it. Now, what you can see is all plastic up here and then down here kind of a plastic maybe slightly rubberized softer texture here on the handle and the pump and then there are the holes so that it can breathe and pump in air and it even looks like there's a little hole I'm not sure what that is for maybe a lanyard or something like that now to install a needle what we're gonna have to do is remove this little cap because it just kind of holds it on and then you take one of these needles here and it's kind of what you would expect they kind of they have threading on them and there's threading on the inside there. So I'm just going to go ahead and screw this in here, just like that. It's nice knurling around the collar of the needle so that you can get your hands on it. And then you take the cap here and put it on top and then tighten it down and that's gonna hold it in place. And like I said, the nice thing about this is that it's all one little device. That's the full length of the drawing. You might be able to hear it. It's pumping. Now, I got my Shinola basketball here, and what you might be able to see is my ball is slightly deflated. Tom Brady would really appreciate it. But I don't like it like that, and so I want to pump it up. So we're just going to take, let's see if I can get this all filmed here. Put that in here. Sometimes I've seen people lick this uh, to create a nice tight seal. Now, I don't do that. I lick it just for the taste. Mmm. All right. We're gonna try it without licking. All right, there we go. I can hear it drawing air on this side. All right, wanted to save you a little time. This thing is all pumped up, super rigid now. Boom, yeah! Oh, look, I can palm it. I'm just kidding, I have to hold it up with this hand. Tiny hands. Listen, this pump is actually great. It was actually way quicker than I expected. The nice thing about it is it's small, compact, you can put it anywhere. Hose isn't flopping around on the other end. And the other thing is it's just a fairly high quality little pump. It looks good. And uh, versus some of the cheaper like toy pumps or pumps for toys that tend to be cheap plastic, high visibility, bright, kind of uh, low rent, this seems much nicer. So I really like it. And the best part, it was like one of the cheapest pumps I could find, under $8 shipped. So, if you want it, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.